What's up, guys? This is Coach Grant with First Down Training, and today we're going to be breaking down K.J. Hill and his route running ability. We're going to talk about a lot of routes that he ran at this year's Senior Bowl, and guys, this video was done by request, so whoever you want to see me break down next, any requests, any receivers, any quarterbacks, please leave in the comments, guys. And also, if you want your film broken down like this, you want to submit me either route running film, throwing mechanics, even your highlight tape, guys, and you want me to break it down, check out that link in the description, get you signed up on my website. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about here is he's going to be running this corner route off of this kind of triple step release. A lot of people call this an icky, like an icky release. Let's watch this thing full speed, then we'll break it down. So right, left, right, take the inside release, give the eyes of the quarterback, sudden stick to the inside, and break up on this corner, okay? And I believe he got a foot down here. Yes, he did get a foot down, but we need two, obviously. So main thing is when he comes off here, DB, Press coverage, right? My whole goal is I want to take this inside release. I want to sell to him like I might just be running a straight up post, might be running a seam, anything to the inside. So my first step is going to be a little bit wider, but it's going to be quicker, right? But it's going to be, I, I want, my goal is to freeze him and then give him a one, two and leave him to the outside, right? So freeze him with the first step, leave him with the one, two. So I freeze him. Left, right, and leave him, okay? So now, I want you to see how quick that, if you make that first initial step on this triple step release, so you're going right, left, right, that left, right has to be sudden, right? That left, right's got to be explosive, but your upper half is what's going to get this DB leaning to the outside, right? Because when you hesitate, he's got a decision to make. He could either stay disciplined and shuffle with you, or he could try to get hands on you and come at you. Either or, we got to have a reaction off of it. So, right, we freeze him with the first step, doesn't have hands, one, two. It's just like we're playing basketball. Freeze him, then leave him inside with my upper half and you see the separation we're able to get now when he breaks up to the inside here he's coming out the main thing I want to talk about is his eyes back to this quarterback, right? This is selling like he just beat him right now on the inside. Going to be running the seam right up the hash here. And this this um, DB walk down is an oh shit mode. He's like, okay, I got to recover. I got to make sure I make a play on this thing because he's giving his eyes back to the quarterback. That's the main key to the separation at the top of this route here. So given those eyes of the quarterback, sudden stick to the inside. And what does he do with his body? He turns his body, right? He's coming off here. He goes right left to the inside. Now, the main thing I want you to see is we still got to be able to explode out to this corner because the quarterback's going to be getting this ball out of his hands. It's going to put air on it and let us drop there. So I could get separation all I want right here, but if I'm not in a position to where I can explode out and accelerate out of this break, I'm not going to get any separation, right? So he makes this sudden stick, but you see he's in an explosive pad level position. He's ready to shoot off that inside arch, and that's exactly what he does. And now here, we're not open yet, guys. i got to pump my arms. i got to make sure that I accelerate out of this break, and that's exactly what he does here. Quarterback throws it a little bit too far far, but that's a great job by KJ Hill working this route. Let's watch it full speed one more time. So outside step, working this wide step here, right, left, right, and selling like I might be going outside. Now, how we set this release up, one more thing, guys, is I take this hesitation out here, and let's say the first time I try to run a fade. Let's say I just beat him on a fade. I run a comeback. I take an outside release, and I run a post, or even I run a corner. Hell, you could run the exact same route. You take this right, and then you just go left. So he would go right, left, and then he takes the outside release, right? But because he goes right, left, right, it's selling like he's working that move. DB might have felt it one time before. That's why he's leaning outside. So that's how you set up that release. Let's watch it full speed right now. So one, two, three, take the inside, sudden stick, eyes to the inside, accelerate out of the break. Cannot stress that enough. Great job by KJ Hill. Okay, so now you guys have probably seen this clip before, but it's good that we can break it down and touch on it again. He's working this slide release on a slant route. Now, a lot of you like to work this slide release on like you're running a dig or a post and you take it out way too long, not timing with the quarterback. Now, you're going to see there's a hesitation release and there's a slide release. Okay, now this slide release is I only like it on a slant and maybe if I slide one time, he's staying disciplined to the inside and take off and go vertical. So let's watch at full speed. So slide one, two, three. Out of this break, accelerate out of this break and run in this slant. So why do we take this slide release, right? I got to run a slant. I can't just take one step and go because that DB is going to be too easy for him, right? So my whole goal is to get him either to shuffle off of this platform, I square him up and I give him a move with my feet, or my goal is to get him to turn these hips and open up the gate, right? Which, discipline DB, unlikely that's going to happen unless I'm in a good range, which KJ Hill is in. So you see how he slides over here, slides, slides again, one, and he comes out here. It's one, left, Right. So he kind of drags that inside leg, but you could really put that in the ground when you do it. This is just a unique release for him, but you want to go right, left, right. And now when I go right, left, right, look what happens to this DB's 
opening up this gate, right? Completely opening up the gate. I'm violent with my head and my shoulders to the outside, making this sudden stick and look where his toes, toes are straight forward because he knows I got to shoot some energy back to the inside. If we could get the DV in this position, guys, because look, when he slides one time and he slides again, one, two, three, in and out of this thing, right? So slide, one, two, three. DB's completely opened up because he's got to make a decision. He's not just going to shuffle with us and stay square and give up the entire inside, right? Trying to turn those hips, play in the fade. Great job by giving a violent head and shoulder fake by KJ Hill. And then he's accelerating out. Get those hands off. That's a lot of separation at the level he's going to. It's a great job here. Let's watch this thing full speed one more time. So again, shuffle, shuffle, one, two, three. Get him to open up that gate. Let's watch it full speed. So shuffle, one, two, three. In and out of this thing, accelerate out, right, left, right, or if we're on the opposite side, left, right, left. So we're going to be looking at this kind of dig. He's going to be running a dig right here. Inside leverage, press from the slots. Watch it. Left, right, in and out. One, two. Working that rocker step at the top of the route. Great job here. A little bit of a miss overthrow by this quarterback, but, you know, it happens. So... We want to freeze this DBD inside because I want to take this outside release, right? See, he's already lined up inside leverage. So if I'm going to take this outside release, I'm not going to try to run this dig and just run right into him right here, right? I'm going to attack his leverage. So I go left, right, and freeze him to the inside because that's where he's lined up, right? So he comes out here and gives this left, right release. So his back foot goes first, left, right. Head and shoulders to the inside. The whole goal is just to freeze him to the inside. I don't need to get a whole lot of separation on this. I just got to get up into this round. And that's exactly what he does. Now here, see how he's avoiding the contact right here. Maybe a little bit smaller of a receiver, right? Maybe a little bit more physical of a corner. That's a situation that we could work this in. I avoid the contact here from this DB. And now... He doesn't have hands on me, or he does have hands on me, but he's already trailing me. And then when I could get to this position at the top of the route where he's got no hands and I'm working to restack, I could give him a lot of moves at the top of the route to get some separation. So he comes here, right, left, right? He's working this rocker step, so he's coming here, right, left. Now what he's selling right now is that he's just going right off of this right leg and going to be breaking on this out, right? So he's coming up here, he restacks him, he's going to put his foot in the ground and just work this speed cut out. That's all he's trying to sell right now. But when I could be violent with my upper half and I could sell this route with my upper half, that's going to get this DB to bite underneath. So he comes up here, right, left. And again, head to the outside, shoulders to the outside, because look where he's watching. He's watching that hip, right? So if I don't turn my upper half, it's going to be easier for him to play. I could turn my eyes all day, right? But he's not supposed to be watching the back of my head. I got to turn my whole body, but I got to keep my hips square. I got to keep my toes forward so I could explode out of this thing. And you see, gets a lot of separation from this DB in the red zone. A little bit of a missed throw by the quarterback, but that's all right. It happens, guys. So again, we're going to just go Left, right, freeze him to the inside, avoid the contact, get on top, right, left, rocker steps, watch at full speed one more time. So coming out here, avoid the contact, right, left. Violent head and shoulders, head fake, that's a great job getting separation. So now we're going to be talking about this comeback, okay? Now we're going to talk about how I think he did a great job of swatting this DB by attacking a point of control, but also what he could have done a little bit better to get in and out of this route a little bit faster, okay? So let's watch it full speed. So coming off the line here, one, two, three, four, five, six, six steps, okay? Now, we're going to talk about how I think he could get a little bit better at the top of the route here and how um, he could drop his hips a little bit more, which will get rid of those extra steps. OK, so now you see here when I'm running a comeback, guys, which foot should I be snapping down with? If I want to go least amount of steps possible, it should be my inside leg. Right. So in this case, it should be KJ Hill's left leg. That's the main thing. Right now, what what foot does he snap down with? He snaps down with his inside foot. Right. So that's already going to be four steps. It's already going to be one extra step, but I would rather have four steps and you be fast and you swat this arm by then you be slow and get the right amount of steps because you see what he's got working for him here is that he's pushing vertical i think he initiates the contact a little bit too soon because a good db might realize okay he's probably going to be swat me by here but it's a good job looking back for this ball and swatting as he's dropping this is something that a lot of receivers can't do they swat and they bring their chest up and then they have this big long drift right here and then they come out of the break right if you could swat in the db at the top of a route and still focus on getting your chest forward rather than leaning back it's gonna, you're gonna get some separation because this DB does not know when you're gonna break, so he's gonna fly by. And DBs love to work the little five yard drills where they're running back and forth with cones, right? But they don't work it. 12, 15 yards downfield, right? So it's harder for them to change direction like that. That's where we have the advantage because we do work that 12 yards downfield. But again, SWAT and he's going forward, but it's one, 
two, three, four, five, six, and he's out of this break. But still, even with six steps, right, even with two, maybe three more steps than I would like, look how much separation he's able to get with this DB. Because he pushed vertical, because he was physical at the top of the route, he swatted that point of control, which was his elbows. That's the result. That's the separation that he's able to get. And now this ball's out on time. That's a great job here. I just think we could get less steps. Your hips could be more violent as you swat by. Okay, so let's watch it full speed one more time. It's coming off here, bursting up. Swat him by, in and out of this break. Would like to cut down those steps. How we could do that is just be more, a little bit more violent with his hips and just work it with time, okay? But overall, very smooth route runner. All right, guys, I really want to thank you for watching. I really appreciate it, guys. Again, if you want your film broken down like this, if you want me to take a look at your route running, if you're a quarterback, you want me to look at your mechanics, check out that link in the description that says Film Breakdown, guys, and I'll see you guys next time.